Session number 11 complete. We worked on a small combination of touches and your footwork around an object or a cone, different combinations of kick-ups and touches sitting down, and finally, a fancy way to flick the ball up from the floor to your hands. Bedroom ballers, back again on Thursday, 12 o'clock. See you then. If you are right-footed, you are going to flick the ball with your left foot. If you are left-footed, you flick the ball with your right. I am right-footed, so I'm gonna flick the ball with my left. So what you are going to do, you're gonna roll the ball back with your stronger foot, flick it with your weaker, and catch it. So, you have to roll it up. Let me do it side on so you can see. Roll it up and catch it. I'll show you one more time. Roll it up, flick. Oh, got that one wrong. Roll it up, flick and catch. One more from a different angle and then one more from this angle. Roll up, flick and catch. It's going to be flick, kick, kick catch. catch. One more time. Flick, oh. flick, kick, catch. You see, I need to practice it. <laughs> Give it a practice, and you've got to move back. Flick, kick, cap, good boy. There we go. Love it, well done, it's a good little skill this is. Flick, kick, catch. Inside up, roll across. Roll back, inside up, roll across. So take your time nice and slow to start off with. You are just pulling it back, inside of the foot, bringing it forward, sole of the foot, rolling it across. So I'm gonna pick up the pace a bit, so. Roll back, push up, roll across. 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 We're gonna do the exact same, but this time the push out is going to be with the laces. So before it was roll it back, push it with the inside, roll it across. This time you push it with the laces. Roll it back, push it forwards, roll it across. Roll it back, push it forwards, roll it across. Back, forwards, across. Back, forwards, across. Back, forwards, across, so it's a soft touch. The first minute, right foot, catch, right foot, catch. So you're just working on kicking it and catching it, a soft touch, using your laces. If you point your toe towards you, the ball's gonna go over your head. So you use your laces to push it up. So it's a soft touch, up, winch. Can you give me foot, foot, catch, foot, foot, catch. So there are three points up, to, up for grabs. One, two, three. How many can you do? Head, foot, catch. Head, foot, catch. So now it's your reaction. You soft head, little touch, and catch it. I'm only getting my knee. Head, foot, catch. One minute. So and now we have come to the end of week number four. Session 12, swipe across, and you will find the videos from today's session where we worked on different 20 second time challenges, kick up combinations and dribbling using both feet and different parts of both feet. Bedroom ballers, back again Saturday, start of week number five, 12 o'clock. See you then. How many toe taps you can do in 20 seconds? How many times can you knock the ball side to side in 20 seconds? Toe tap, side to side. A toe tap and side to side is one. So, side, toe tap, side to side, one. Two, three. The challenge for 30 seconds. How many can you do? Out, in, out, in, out, in. Soft touches. Out, in, out, in. How many kick ups can you do in 45 seconds? But it has to be a catch. You have to go right foot catch, left foot catch. But it's how many kick ups can you do with your stronger foot in 45 seconds without your foot touching the floor. So you might have to move around. B, thigh, thigh, catch. Work in your thighs. So thigh, thigh, one, thigh, thigh, two, thigh, thigh, 45 seconds. All we're going to do to start off with, nice and simple, I just want you dribbling in and out, keeping the ball under control, using both feet, dribbling around. Once you go around once, you change direction and go around the other way. We're going to work your right foot only. So you can use laces, sole, inside or the outside. Exact same process as before, but now you are only using one foot. So you're working the sole of the feet only. Rolling it around, bringing it across. You can go forwards, turn with it. Roll it across, forwards, roll it across, forwards. So you're using it inside of the feet, 
you can do doubles. So you're using doubles or you can go singles where you're just using the inside of the feet. If you want to pick it up, pick it up. Thigh, okay, foot, catch. Thigh, foot, catch. You're now going to do foot, thigh, catch. We are always working both feet. To be thigh, chest, catch. Then the other foot, thigh, chest, catch. It is, I'm going to come side on. Thigh, chest, arch your chest back. If your chest is forward and you lean forward, the ball's just going to go straight down. So you want to arch your chest back. Thigh, chest, side of the feet. So I want inside catch, inside catch. Then can you put them both together? Inside catch, inside catch. Then two insides. Outside catch, lace catch, in catch. That's the first three parts. Then the next part has to be laces and inside or laces and outside. So this is the combination. Outside catch, laces catch, inside catch. Then it is lace in or lace out. You decide. So we're now at the start of week five for bedroom borders. For this weekend's challenge, you're going to need two footballs. The challenge is foot, ball, thigh, ball, head, ball, catch. We're now going to break that down into three stages. Stage one, foot, ball, catch. Stage two, foot, ball, thigh, ball, catch. And stage three, foot, ball, thigh, ball, head, ball, catch. Bedroom borders, every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 12 o'clock. See you then. Good luck.